Once upon a time, in a summer filled with both fear and excitement, I embarked on a journey of self-discovery. As a 22-year-old who had recently graduated from university and started a job, I had always nurtured my passion for dressing in feminine attire, albeit discreetly. Standing at just 5 feet 4 inches and weighing a mere 8 stone, I felt that my appearance was not too extreme. Now that I had a steady job and my own place, I could indulge in my true self and spend more time dressed as I desired. In July, amidst tight project deadlines, my team and I successfully completed a major contract. The project manager was delighted with our performance and decided to reward us with an extended weekend off. Excited about the time I could spend embracing my feminine side, I decided to make the most of it. The evening before our mini vacation, I prepared myself by removing all my body hair and pampering myself with a relaxing bath. The next morning, I leisurely painted my nails and carefully dressed in an ensemble of my choosing. I adorned a lovely light blue lace bra and panty set, accentuated by a floaty lemon-colored chiffon petticoat. Over this, I wore a white circular skirt paired with a Georgette blouse, completing the outfit with a necklace, bracelets, black high heel sandals, and a cardigan. With caution, I ventured out of my house, ensuring no prying eyes witnessed my departure, and embarked on a drive to a serene beauty spot nearby. The day was perfect, as I relished the freedom of walking in the open air, feeling the swish of my skirt and petticoats with every step. I had packed a delightful picnic and savored the solitude of the surroundings. However, as I prepared to head back home, disaster struck. My car's engine overheated and steam billowed out from under the hood. Panicking, I realized I wasn't a member of any road assistance service, and the idea of standing in a skirt at an auto repair shop seemed less than appealing. Summoning courage, I called upon my friend Lorna, who happened to be on her day off and had mentioned her knowledge of car maintenance. Although I cautioned her about my appearance, arousing her curiosity, she agreed to come to my aid. Alongside her came Sarah, an acquaintance known for her gossiping tendencies. Their surprise at my sight quickly transformed into laughter and inquiries about my feminine journey. Lorna assured me that replacing the damaged hose wouldn't be an issue, and off she went to procure the necessary parts, leaving me in the company of Sarah. In an attempt to pass the time, Sarah and I took a short walk towards a nearby stream. Unexpectedly, she pulled out a small camera from her bag and against my wishes, took a couple of photos. Irritated, I returned to the car in a huff, but Sarah followed and eventually we found ourselves sitting on a bench near the vehicle, engrossed in conversation. She snapped another picture, and as I stood up, I lost my footing in my high heels, stumbling over the bench's corner. The fall revealed more than I had intended, with my skirt and petticoats pushed up around my waist and my blouse unbuttoned, revealing my bra and panties for all to see. Sarah erupted in laughter, capturing the comical moment in a couple of clicks. Despite my initial embarrassment, we soon found ourselves laughing together. When Lorna returned with the replacement hose and some water, she made it clear that my mishap came with a price. I was to spend the next day and Sunday in the company as the days turned into weeks. I began to settle into my newfound confidence and embrace the changes that had occurred in my life. The office banter gradually shifted from jokes and teasing to genuine acceptance and curiosity. My colleagues started asking questions about my experiences and expressing their admiration for my courage. One afternoon, during a team meeting, our project manager commended our hard work and dedication. Acknowledging the successful completion of another major contract. He then surprised us by announcing that the company would be hosting a summer gala to celebrate our achievements. Excitement filled the room as we eagerly discussed potential themes and activities for the event. As the preparations for the gala commenced, I found myself deeply involved in the planning committee. My colleagues valued my creativity and attention to detail, and I happily contributed my ideas to make the event unforgettable. We decided on a masquerade ball where everyone would have the opportunity to dress up and step into a world of mystery and enchantment. The gala day arrived, and the office transformed into a stunning venue adorned with twinkling lights, vibrant decorations, and an atmosphere filled with anticipation. I had carefully selected a breathtaking floor-length gown in shades of lavender and silver. The delicate lace and flowing chiffon made me feel like a princess, and the dress perfectly complemented my newly styled hair. 
As the evening unfolded, I stepped into the ballroom, my heart pounding with excitement. Colleagues and friends greeted me with awe and compliments, impressed by the transformation they witnessed. The music began to play, and the dance floor came alive with twirling couples and laughter. With each graceful step, I felt a newfound sense of liberation. Gone were the fears and insecurities that once plagued me. I was surrounded by people who accepted me for who I was, celebrating the unique individual I had become. The night was filled with joyous laughter, heartfelt conversations, and memories that would forever be etched in our hearts. At the stroke of midnight, the gala came to a close, but the impact it had on my life was everlasting. The following Monday, as I walked into the office, the atmosphere had changed. Instead of glances or whispers, my colleagues greeted me with genuine warmth and respect. They recognized my strength and the personal growth I had experienced throughout this journey. The summer came to an end, but the revelations and transformations remained. The support and acceptance I found within my workplace extended beyond the office walls. I began to explore the vibrant LGBTQ community, attending events, and meeting inspiring individuals who shared similar experiences and aspirations. In the years that followed, my journey continued to evolve. I embraced my identity as a transgender woman with pride and confidence. I became an advocate for inclusivity and acceptance, sharing my story to inspire others who may be navigating their own paths of self-discovery. Looking back on that summer of revelation, I realized how the challenges and unexpected encounters had led me to a place of authenticity and self-acceptance. It, it was a summer that taught me the importance of embracing who we truly are, regardless of societal expectations. And as the seasons changed, so did I, blossoming into a stronger, happier version of myself. So, my story serves as a reminder to embrace the unexpected, to fearlessly chase our dreams, and to find the courage to reveal our true selves. For it is in those moments of revelation that we discover the beauty of our own authenticity and inspire others to do the same.